and welcome to this next video from Cat Labs where we're going to be talking about the all new SST4 prototype model machine that we just got in. Uh, this basically is a uh, semi automatic processor that offers automatic agitation for continuous agitation processing and rotation, as well as a temperature controlled water bath, which is great if you're going to be doing any temperature sensitive processes such as. C41 or E6, but also very good if you're going to be doing black and white and you want to have uh, a mechanical, almost uh, specific consistency from process and to process, from run to run. Uh, the nice thing about the SST4 is that it is universally, it's universally adjustable so that you can literally use any tank system currently available in the world. Right now we have a Patterson tank rolling and bobbing around in there. We also going to try this uh, basic uh, stainless steel tank, uh, just a generic kind, uh, small jobo tank, uh, 2500 system jobo tank, and they also run extra tanks on this. Uh, the only limit of course is the physical size of the trough, uh, and this is just big enough to run the extra tank 3005 for 8x10 films, uh, for 8x10 sheet film. Uh, and this machine has uh, pretty interesting controls. It has a uh, motor rotation speed knob right here and the top speed is pretty fast. Uh, one of the ingenious things about the design is that both axles in this machine, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit, both axles in this machine are completely free standing and they're not mechanically linked to the motor. There is some kind of magical magnet drive between the motor and the axle that drives it and so it's completely seamless. The motor compartment is entirely sealed off from water and basically what we have is main on off switch. I'm going to turn it off here. It does have a couple of seconds delay before it starts on. I'm going to let it reset. The motor comes on automatically unless you shut it off and it has a clicking off mode. Once the water is filled in the trough, the heater starts functioning automatically if it's set to a temperature. We can turn the heater off by hitting the reset switch and holding it. Now the heater system is off, but the rotation mechanism still works, uh, just like any other uh, processor. And as soon as we're ready, we'll hit the reset button again. We have a LED indicator next to the work position which is telling us that the heater is on the heating element is on if you want to see what our target temperature is we'll hit the set button and right now we have it set for 38.4 degrees centigrade we can adjust it down to 0.1 degree and the thermostat is very very accurate right now we have a light illuminated next to the set marker which is telling us that we're in the set mode this is the temperature Oop. This is the temperature that we're working towards. This is our target temperature. And if we hit it again, we're back to the work mode. This is telling us the actual temperature inside the trough right now. Um, in order to get the uh, system primed and ready, you sometimes have to let out a little bit of air. And so we have this little drain port here uh, that enables you to pour out about 30 milliliters of water and get all the air bubbles so out. So I'm gonna that gets turn the motor off for a moment. I'm gonna put this Patterson tank here. I'm going to take this basic uh, Kinderman style, uh, Kinderman style uh, stainless steel tank that's loaded with a stack of reels. And we're just going to place it in the same place the Patterson tank was. And we're going to run the motor. So the movement is very smooth. We're not getting any rocking or bobbing over here. Uh, this tank has a rubber lid, which is pretty good in this particular case. The water level is about uh, two centimeters in contact with the tank, which will give us a good tempering contact uh, amount. And you can adjust the water level either by funneling it out through the drain tube here, or you can just siphon it out with uh, a little beaker. The rollers on the drive axle are locked in with uh, a small Allen uh, internal socket screw. Uh, and they allow you to reposition uh, the, uh, the, the rollers and I'm going to spread these out just a little bit so that we can accommodate a bigger tank. You don't need a lot of pressure, you just need it 
to be held in place. And really what you want to make sure is that the tank is supported in every direction and is not going to be uh, pressed on. The uh, rollers on the opposite side are not drive rollers and they spin freely on the axle. So we're just going to set it here and start back the motor. The nice thing about this is I don't have to stop the motor to pull the tank up. I can just grab it. Uh, there's no friction. Uh, there's no gears. There's nothing to jam up. Uh, it's completely free. So we've and switched running. over to the uh, 2500 system tank. And the water level now needed to be a little higher, so we've added just a little bit of water to... Uh, Finally, um, let's throw on uh, an expert tank. Uh, this is our clear plastic demo tank. Uh, what we'll need to do is to adjust the rollers so that they're right in between the two lips of the tank, the lid and the bottom lip, so we just want to bring them in a little closer. And that should do nicely. And I'm going to press in the free rollers just a little bit. Let's see, how about that? Yeah, that looks good. And I'm going to bring in the position roller to make sure the drum doesn't slide off. Because the expert tank has a larger diameter, it looks like we'll need a little bit more liquid in the trough to, be to get better contact with it. Uh, let's add some water and see how this works. Well, it has a very small footprint. Uh, it folds up very nice plugs into a generic uh, electric cable plug so it's pretty easy to work with and the fact that it's completely universal uh, and is compatible with practically any tank out there uh, makes it uh, pretty exciting thank you so much for watching find out more information at www.catlabs.info